ITF Daily Thoughts dated 18th September 2021 Growth in Exports Income and Substitution Effect Mr Barua Chief Economist HDFC Bank in his recent column mentioned about the difference between two of these key drivers in exports the income effect constitutes a rise in export demand for exports driven by a rebound in major buyer countries like the US and Europe a substitution effect implies a gain in market share by one country at the expense of others a strong substitution effect would signal that we have arrived at the export scene in general few experts believe that the income effect has been the primary driver of this current trend of export pickup by using this opportunity we need to move towards substitution effect to make the growth as permanent let us compare the performance of our own sector from this point of view segment 1 in the first 5 months of this financial year cotton yarn fabrics made up segment grew by 52% from the 2019 levels for the same 5 months period if we account 20% of this growth towards increase in prices the real growth will be in the range of 30% within this 30% we can divide it equally for the income and substitution effect segment 2 in the same period our rmg exports has degrown by a minus 5.7% compared to the 2019 levels if we account the new price levels the degrowth may be much more in this space both the effects are not witnessed in comparison with the first segment which has emerged as a winner in creating some substitution effect particularly in home textiles segment 3 in mmf yarn fabrics made ups etc exports had grown by 21% compared to the 2019 levels from its low base this segment is showing some momentum overall it is a mixed trend in our sector the coming months will give us the answer for one important question is this current trend a cyclical or a structural one we as an industry need to work hard and smart to convert this opportunity into a substitution effect to bring real growth in exports team itf